I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my subscribers for posting excellent questions. These days, it's time to review for the final exam. And here is an excellent question from one of my subscribers who wants to understand how to write quadratic equation when the roots are given, especially when we are given complex roots. So the question here is, find the quadratic equation whose roots are 1 plus i, which is a complex, pure complex number, square root 2. In this particular video, I'll show you three different ways of solving such a question, right? So here what we know is that i square is actually equals to minus 1 or you can say square root of minus 1 is i. So i is pure imaginary number, right? Okay. So first uh, let me thank my subscriber for posting an excellent question and I hope it is going to help all others. So let me call this as the standard method, right? So I'll say standard method, which normally I don't use. The other two are far more efficient, right? So let me call it standard method and let it be method number one. So the idea here is that if I'm given two roots, let us say the roots are x1 and x2, in that case, y is equals to x minus x1 times x minus x2, correct? So that is the concept, perfect. So applying this concept, we are going to solve this particular question. Since the roots are, now, since the roots are 1 plus minus, there are two roots, right? So here in our case, we have two roots. So we have y equals to, let me use square brackets, x minus, the first one is 1 plus i square root 2, right? Times x minus, the other root is 1 minus i square root 2, correct? Now, if you multiply, let me first open the brackets. In that case, we get x minus 1 minus i square root 2 times x minus 1 plus i square root 2, correct? Now, as you can see, x minus 1, x minus 1, we could do like this. Now, it becomes like a minus b times a plus b. And as you know, let me write here, a minus b times a plus b is equals to a square minus b square, correct? So we're treating this as a and that as b, correct? So this a plus b here, a minus b. So I could write this as a square, which is x minus 1 whole square, minus b square, which is i square root 2 whole square, correct? This is what I get. Now, if I expand this, a minus b whole square, we get x square minus 2ab, which is 2x, plus 1 square, which is 1. And here, what do I get? Let me rewrite. i square and square root of, let me rewrite like this. Okay, then we'll do. So what we get here is x square minus 2x plus 1 and minus i square is minus 1 so I get minus and square root of 2 square is 2 so that is what we get perfect let's now open this bracket we get x square minus 2x plus 1 and this becomes plus 2 so that gives us the result which is equal to x square minus 2x plus 3, right? So we get our quadratic equation and roots of this quadratic equation are as given to us. 
Now this is a standard method which you should apply to get the result. Right? And I took a very simple example 1 plus i square root 2 for a complex root. Now let's look into method number 2. So I have the same question here. This time we'll use uh, second method. So I hope you remember that a quadratic equation can also be written as y equals to x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. Now this concept you have used for factoring, correct? So you have used this concept a lot finding sum and product, right? So, so I think you remember factoring concepts. Just to uh, remind you, right? Since we are doing review, we might have done it long time back. Okay. So in our case, we have two roots, right? X1 is 1 plus i square root 2 and x2, the second root is 1 minus i square root 2, correct? So from here, what is the sum? Sum is when you add them up, right? So when you add them up, what do you get? These part cancel out. So sum is 2, correct? So when you add them up, that is to say, when I do x1 plus x2, these part cancel out, so we get 2, 1 plus 1, and that part is 0, right? So we get this plus 0, or sum is 2, okay? Now, what is the product? Let's calculate the product also. That is to say, x1 times x2 is how much? So what we get here is 1 plus i square root 2 times 1 minus i square root 2, right? So, so if I expand it, I get 1 minus a square minus b square, right? So, so if I expand it, I get 1 times, let me do it long way, 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times that is minus i square root 2. If I do with this, I get plus i square root 2 minus i square, square root 2 times square root 2. Is that okay? That's what I get. Now, these two terms cancel out, so I get 1. And here, minus i square. So minus, what is i square? i square is minus 1. And square root 2 times square root 2 is 2. So what I get here is 1 plus 2, which is 3. Okay? Now, we have got sum as 2. And the product as 3. So what is the equation? I could write equation as y equals 2 x square minus sum which is 2 plus product which is 3. Do you see that? So we again get exactly the same equation. But see how simple it is. It involves least amount of calculations. I hope you appreciate this method, right? Write your comments if you do. Anyway, here is another method for you which sometimes you can apply. So here is the third method. The idea of third method is that if I have an equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then how do we find x in general? Quadratic equation, right? Quadratic formula. So the formula is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, where a is coefficient of x square, b is coefficient of x, and c is the constant. Perfect. Right. Now, we are going to use this concept to find our equation. What are we given here? We are given that the roots are 1 plus minus i square root 2 divided by 1. Do you see that? Divide by 1. So we can actually compare the two. Do you see that? And get the equation. 
That's the beauty of this method. Let's do it. So if I compare the denominators, that is this part, I can write 2a equals to 1, a equals to half. Perfect. So this is when I compare the denominators. Okay. Now, I could compare this part. So what will that give us? Very clear. That gives us that minus b is 1, right? Minus b equals to 1 or b is equals to minus 1. Simple, right? How about the part within the square root? That is to say this part. Okay, I have i here. So, so what I can do? I can rewrite this. Look here. I could rewrite this as 1 plus minus. If I take i inside, it becomes minus 2, right? Since i square is minus 1. Now I think I can compare. It's easier, simpler. Perfect. So let me compare that part also. What do I get? I get b square minus 4ac as equal to minus 2. Now, what is b? b is minus 1. So I can substitute minus 1 square it minus 4 times what is a? a is half. And I have to find what c is from this equation. So simple. So I can always solve for c, right? So let's do it. So we have 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so minus 2c equals to minus 2. So I can write this as 1 plus 2 equals to 2c, right? So 3 equals to 2c or c equals to 3 over 2. So I have all the components as c equals to 3 over 2. So substitute this, a is half, so I get half x square b is minus 1 so we get minus x c is 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2 equals to 0 is it same as what we wrote earlier let's multiply everything by 2 to get the same thing right so if i multiply everything by 2 it's an equation we can do it we get our answer which is which is x square and this becomes minus 2x and that becomes plus 3 equals to 0. Do you get an idea? So we could actually use this method to find the quadratic equation for any given complex roots which are always in conjugate pairs. I hope you understand and appreciate the method just for your practice. Here is a question for you. You have to find the equation now. With roots. As let me change this question to 2 plus minus. Uh, I square root 5 let us say divided by 3. So that becomes slightly complex. It oh let me just change this to. It's too much, right? So let's change this to 4. Make it simple. Okay, anyway. So let it be like this as a practice question for you. I hope you understand and appreciate the three methods which I discussed in this video. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. Thank you. And all the best.